All right, uh, welcome back to a slightly, I would say, really improved studio space. I think it's the happiest place on earth. We are joined by Martin Creed, Collected Works at Bob Rennie's Gallery, which you can yeah. come and see. This is just a small part of it, but Martin, how are you? Right, okay. I think everybody would be happy in this room. <laughs> Did this make you smile when you came up with this concept? What was the... Yeah, well, it makes me happy to see this. Yeah. Is it people's reaction to it, or is it your initial reaction? Like, are you sort of, are you looking for a reaction, or is it how you feel about it when you first make it? Yeah, I try, well, yeah, I do it for myself. I, I want to feel better, you know? <laughs> That's why I work, to yeah. try to feel better, try and make my life better. But, but the reaction of people, I, I hope people like it, but I find that impossible to know you know, beforehand, I've got, I, I never have an idea what... Where I, did the idea of pink balloons come from? We should probably explain this room is going to be half full by the time it's fully installed, but where did the idea of pink balloons come from? Well, it was more, well, it's, it was more just the balloons was the start of it. But, but the pink is, that's like the colour of a car, you know, like you can have different colours. What's exactly. your favourite? Um, pink. <laughs> <laughs> And Fiona asked before, before we started, whether there was a certain, like, a certain balloon, a balloon. was there was, like, you must be something of a balloon expert at this stage, well, Martin. Yeah, there's a, there's a brand called Qualitex, which <laughs> I, I find is, um, it works well. Indoors it doesn't, it doesn't break so easily, they're right. strong. And the idea is for people to walk through this when it's open, is that the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I, wait a second, I, I, let me wrap my head around that. It'll be... It'll be it's half the volume of the room, so balloons will be up to here and people yeah. will be wandering through. Just enough yeah. to maybe See, suffocate. See, that does make me very happy <laughs> thinking about that. Now, a happiness in this room, and there's, there's going to be a room upstairs that has some mm -hmm. video of people vomiting. Yeah. Um, not happy for me. Is, it, is, that, is that a happy place for you? <laughs> well, no, the, I, I find it really difficult to watch the vomiting. Or I did until I watched a lot of it, and then right. and now I don't, I don't really... Desensitize <laughs> yeah. yourself a little bit. Was that part of the, uh, the creation of that? Is the, the vomiting work came about from trying, it came exactly from trying to talk about my work. I was trying to tell someone about, and I was thinking that working is like trying to, or making these things is like trying to get from the inside out, you know? Right. It's like trying to make something outside of you that rhymes with the inside of you, or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. And then, and so, and then I was thinking that vomiting is, is a good example of doing that, you know, so it's like a good metaphor. I wish I vomited out. It's a kind of, it's a kind of perfect process, <laughs> right? In a weird kind of way. Uh, how, how much of a line do you sort of walk between being really conscious of what you're doing and, and having to just sort of let it go and, and let it come to you, I guess? I don't, I don't know maybe the words for it, but like how, how aware of that line do you have to be that you're maybe thinking about it too much? And well, I, th I think I think too much. I was thinking... And that, or I feel I think too much. Right. <laughs> and, then, and I'd like to, I think I'd like to feel more. I think feelings are much more important yeah. than thoughts. But the problem with feelings is you can't see them. So but does it bother you when you get a negative reaction? I mean, I, I know people yeah. before have sort of been outraged that, you know, crumpled paper and, and things like that, but... It does bother me, yeah. But, um... But in the sense that I'm bothered by some of the things I've done, like the vomiting, for example, I found really disturbing and difficult. So, like, I'm bothered by that. So yeah. I'm not really surprised that other people are bothered by right. it, you know. And, and, I, and I think that sometimes, like, for me, like, working is like, is like pinch or is like hitting yourself to see if you can feel something. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so, when you and I can it, understand you know. why someone might be, you know, annoyed by that, because if that gets under their skin and... You know, that's how I know that. that I tried that's that right it. here. <laughs> I have feelings, I realize. Uh, so we go one around. I'd love to go to the second floor and, and uh, have a look at that and the broccoli and, and yeah. that whole setup up there. So through the balloons. Not quite half full, but it will be. I was thinking. And then I wasn't thinking. Okay, tell us about um, the broccoli. Well, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I, like, you know, I, like, I like broccoli. I, you love it. Yeah, I like, I, I, I like it. I, like, I don't like it that much, but I like it. But 
uh, I was trying to design a single cover, you know, a seven inch right. single. Yeah. And I was looking for something that was about the size of a seven inch single. <laughs> and I had the idea that broccoli would <laughs> fit, you know. How much did you have to experiment to get the right broccoli imprint? Well, I tried, um, well, actually, not really that much. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, like, but it was difficult to do them because, um, because uh, I had, because often the paint spills all over yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah. And so for each one, we did three. Wow. How many different colors are there? They're, they're so all many. different. Each they're one every different. one's a different color, yeah. <laughs> do you usually, mm -hmm. when you're working on something, like this, I like the runner. <laughs> that's perfect, and that's part of the exhibit as well. Yeah, he's that's a one. That's a work. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's a just work. Of someone running as fast as he does, can. Does the work ever crash into the people watching or observing or being part Some, of it? Well, sometimes, yeah. Uh -huh. You have to be careful. Can we talk about the piece of paper? Because how does one know when you have crumpled it perfectly enough to put it in a box? Uh, does it take a... I uh, know, it's just a... <laughs> I love it. I just go by the feeling. Why does this make it... people so angry, though? People get so this mad. This is the one that people get a little angry about. I think people like to get angry. I do, they do. You know, I, I, I think I like getting angry. <laughs> uh, we should talk about what's upstairs as well, because... Uh, uh, this has become iconic already in the city. Everything's going to be all right. I find that a kind of, like, if someone says to me that, I, I remember people saying, don't worry, or everything's going to be all right. And even though that seems like a sort of empty thing that the person saying it to you might, they don't know that everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And yet it can be very comforting if someone says that to you. Right. Well, Martin. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's been well, such a pleasure. You. And if you want to come and see Martin uh, and his collected works, you can do so at the Bob Rennie Gallery, which is yep. in Chinatown. All you have to do is go to the website to make an appointment for a private tour. Uh, just sign up online and you can come check it all out. Thank Martin, you so thank you. It's yeah. fun to be around and yeah. spend some time with yeah. you and it's be within your right. Okay, I just want to go around. Right around. <laughs> well, it gives you joy. Thank you. Thank you.